Hello, Don. Good to be here. How are you doing? I'm yeah, doing good. So are you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Uh, the fans are really great up here. I'm getting a lot of support from the fans and cheering from the pretty young ladies here. And uh, it's always a great benefit when the fans are on your side. That sure helps me a lot to win. Oh, I know. And you've got to... I know that you're uh, beginning to uh, figure out exactly who means business here and who you want to take off after. And I know that you've, you've been talking about Bobby Jaggers. You've been talking about... Uh, Mike Miller and uh, Megan Maharishi. That's right. I'll take anyone who they want to put me in, the promoter, whoever they want to put me in the ring with. I'm ready. I'm training hard. And one thing I want to clear up, Ricky Vaughn, he's a friend of mine. And Bobby Jaggers, you come out here shooting your mouth off about Ricky Vaughn and how you took him under your wing and how you helped him. You seem to forget one thing. Ricky Vaughn, he's wearing the championship belt. So what does that say for you, Bobby Jaggers? Good point. Good point. You may have a chance to say that to him personally in either Finley, Washington, Yakima, Washington, or maybe Seattle on November 6th. That's right. There's a big card there in Seattle on uh, the 6th, and I'm going to be there, and uh, everyone else here in the Upper Northwest is going to be there. I hope there's a lot of fan turnout uh, because the fans, we need the fans behind us. Uh, we're going to win, and hope to see you all there. Hey, we're glad to have you here, Tommy. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, and I know the folks will be, look forward to seeing you in the Seattle Center Arena on Wednesday, November 6th. We would... Uh, Advise getting your tickets early for that one. Get your tickets at the Fidelity Lane Ticket Office or at the Seattle Center Arena. Thank you very much, Don, for having me out again. Hey, you bet. See you later. All right. Porky of the Year, voted by Wrestling Magazine, Tommy Zink. Hello, Don. It's good to be here. How you been? I've been good. Good. Uh, I know you have. Yes, I've uh, been doing real good. And I think a lot of it has to do with the great crowd support up here in the Pacific Northwest. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart to all you fans. If you've never come to wrestling... There's a lot of big things going on here in the Northwest. Why don't you come out and see us and get behind me? I need, I, I need the support. I know Ricky Vaughn, uh, a lot of the guys, we've talked about it, and the fans make the difference for us. They really do, Don. I know. They can really provide that fan power that can, can get you out of a situation and put you up on top. Exactly. It gets the adrenaline flowing, and uh, it just brings you alive. You know, it, it, it's great to have the fans, and I'm so happy to be out here. It's just great. But Monday... November 11th, we're going to be in Yakima at the J.M. Perry Tech. So I want to see all you fans out there, meet a lot of you people. And on December 3rd, that's a Tuesday, we're going to be up in Seattle at, Seattle, at the Seattle Center Arena. And that's going to be a heck of a big card, Don. Oh, that is. I know uh, Don Owen and Barry have got a big card planned for that one, and you're going to be there. Uh, yes, I am. I've and got it... a lot of tough matches coming up with uh, Bobby Jaggers, me and Mike Miller, and uh, Ed Moonbog uh, Moretti. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we've got, we've got uh, Carl Steiner. He's back in town now. Yeah, I just saw him uh, wrestle tonight, as a matter of fact, and uh, he looks real impressive. You bet. Well, I know you've got, uh, you've got a lot ahead of you, but uh, I'll tell you, you, uh, you're looking good, Tommy. You're, you're, you're taking this place by storm. Well, thank you very much. I've put in a lot of training, and uh, it's, my attitude is really great up here. I, I like the weather. I like the people. Uh, I think that's got a lot to do with it. I'm, I've been happier than I've been in the last two years. I'm, I'm just glad to be here, Don. Well, we're glad to have you. Don't forget, that's Monday in Yakima, Monday, November the 11th, day after tomorrow, and then Tuesday, December 3rd, at the Seattle Center Arena. That's right. Thank you very okay. much, Don. I appreciate Thank you. The you bet, Tommy. Tommy Zink. He backs Moondog into the ropes. Oh, well, I can dream, can I? Oh, side suplex. Down goes Moondog. Moondog just kind of crawls over to the rope. Tommy Zink voted the Rookie of the Year by Wrestling Magazine. And he's got Moondog. Oh, he just took a pop on the head from Moondog. And he got saved Moondog from the first fall. The, the knee by Moondog, a shot right in the eyes by Moondog. Forearm smash across the back, flying mare. Moondog trying to put this one in the wind cone. Moondog would love to, to put that first loss on Tommy Zink. Oh, oh, look at that. Now, Moondog goes for the hair. That is another flying mare. Tommy's
Tommy Zink has become a Northwest favorite in just a matter of two weeks. I don't know. Moondog already is yelling something up here at us. Uh, hard to understand his growling. I, there's an elbow, another elbow. Oh, and a shoulder tackle by Tommy Zink, and now goes Moondog Moretti. Over goes Tommy, and oh, Tommy just took a knee into the mid cage. Now remember, Tommy Zink is a rookie. Out goes Tommy, onto the concrete floor. Ooh, boy, he hit hard out there. He hit his elbow on that cement. Oh, man. Tommy Zink is a rookie. He hasn't been wrestling very long. And, of course, Moondog Moretti is a veteran. And that can uh, oftentimes make all the difference in the world. The veteran can afford to give up size, weight, strength, speed, just through sheer caginess, trickery, and savvy and ring knowledge. Although it's not working for Moondog right now. There's a veal by... Oh, and a drop kick by... Tommy Zink, and Moondog's in the corner. Now he's going to go to the... Oh, reversal whip. Oh, no, Tommy goes on top. A flying body press. One, two, three. He's got him. Oh, baby, Tommy Zink hit that top rope and turned around in midair, and a flying body press nailed. This is fall number two. And Tommy Zink is still undefeated. There uh, goes a crisscross. Something's going to happen right now. Down goes Zink. Over goes Moretti. And, oh, back body dropped by Zink on Moretti. And Moretti outside as Sandy Barr. Referee. Count. And oh, Zink just kind of helped uh, Moondog back in the, in the ring. Here comes an arm whip into the turnbuckle. The entire ring. Oh! Zink went to smash Moretti, and Moretti just moved out of the way, and Tommy landed right on shoulder first in that turnbuckle. And that turnbuckle is awfully, awfully hard. Now, what's he going to do? He's going to throw him into that turnbuckle. Moondog Moretti working on Tommy Zink. Gonna try to wrap him up in the corner. And a right hand on the shoulder. Zink comes back with a right hand. A torque jab with another right hand on the side of the ear. He just took a rake across the face from Moondog. Forearm smash across the back of the neck. Another forearm smash. Three. There's a flying mare. By Moondog Moretti. Tommy Zink in a little bit of trouble right now. Oh, Tommy just... Uh, Moondog Moretti grabbing the back of the hair, and down goes Zink. Moondog, again, being the veteran that he is, knew exactly where Sandy Barr was. Knew Sandy could not see the hair pull. That was a power move by Tommy Zink. On Moondog. Ooh, almost got a three count there. And Moondog again goes for the hair. And I believe we're, we're down to about two minutes of wrestling time remaining. So now that time that we talked about is becoming a factor. There's a boot right in the midsection by Zink. Oh, an uppercut by Tommy. There comes an arm whip into the rope and a drop kick. Oh, almost lights out for Moondog. Two count, Moondog kicks out. And Zink again going for the pin, and again Moondog kicks out. Here comes an arm whip into the rope, and Moondog misses with the right hand. A flying body press again by Tommy Zink. This is the one he nailed him with last time, but this time it didn't work. Zink came off the rope with a flying body press. Now he just takes a rake across the eyes as Moondog moves in. Here comes an arm whip into the turnbuckle. This time Zink moves out of the way and it's more ready that hits that turnbuckle with his elbow. Tommy Zink still learning. Still paying the dues. 
Moondog trying to wrap him up. Now he just becomes quite frustrated and just a belligerent choke on Tommy Zink. Oh, a headbutt. Ooh, that staggered Tommy against the ropes. That worked pretty good for uh, Moondog. There goes Zink into the rope, the back. Oh, no, sir. A victory roll by Tommy Zink. And he had Moondog Moretti locked in pretty good. Moretti kicks his way out. Time running out in our main event. Oh, beautiful move by Tommy Zink. Very, very fine move by the young man. And he's got Moondog Moretti's legs wrapped up there, and time has run out. And Tommy Zink remains undefeated. Tommy Zink is the winner of our main event. Well, they're still going at each other. A little extracurricular activity. Finally, Moondog bails out. And Tommy Zink, the winner of our main event, over Moondog Moretti. We'll be back with a special. We're going the 24th. We're going to be in Renton at the high school in Washington. I hope to be done. I'm sure going to train hard and work hard, too. Got a big card coming up there in Renton. And hope to see all you good fans out there. And, of course, we've got uh, a big card, too, coming up December 3rd, which is a Tuesday, at the Seattle Center Arena. That's exactly right, John. Last time all you people that were there in Seattle, you know what Bobby Jaggers did to me. He came out after my match, and he spit in my face. Said he wasn't impressed because of the rookie of the year. Jaggers, you got an ego problem. And I know all you people know out there that have been watching that Bobby Jaggers has the belt. And I've got him on that night in Seattle on the 3rd. Bobby Jaggers, nobody, nobody does that to me and gets away. Mark my words, there's going to be a big surprise for you December 3rd, Bobby Jaggers. Okay, well, Jackers has to be impressed with this undefeated string that you're putting together, Tommy. And this is a very impressive win tonight over Moondog Moretti. Thank you very much, Don. Thanks for having me out here. And Bobby Jaggers, just remember, I'm gunning for you, and you'll wish you never, ever spit in my face. Thanks.